Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. Today I'm going to do a routine called Cross. Uh, now this is by me. It's not been released yet. It's going to be on a future project, like a big project, and it's going to be part of it. Uh, I'll tell you more when it actually uh, when it actually happens. It's probably going to be in a couple of months, uh, but I'll tell you more as and when that project actually comes to fruition. Uh, but here it is, Cross. I've got a trick for you here, Matt. Are you excited? Always, dude. Good stuff. I got a, uh, I got a wallet here, and inside the wallet, there's a couple of um, cards. Now, do you notice I've put a big cross on the back of them? Yeah, it's quite noticeable. Yeah, it's very important <laughs> that you remember that. Now, I, I also have a deck of cards, which we're going to get to in a minute. Okay. But I want you to hold your hand out for me, and put your other hand on top. Perfect. The reason we're using those cards with a cross on it is I'm going to actually show you a trick that's a classic of magic. It's called the sandwich routine. And the idea is two cards find a card that you're gonna freely pick. Now here's the thing, normally when people do this, right? Normally when this is done, you don't know what the sandwich cards are. I put a big cross on those so, you, so they stand out from the rest of the deck. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that compared to the rest of the deck, they stand out. Now there's 52 cards in this deck. I'm gonna give them a quick shuffle and you can have any one of them. And here's how it's going to work. I'm just going to riffle. No, I won't even riffle. I'll just, I'll just spread through. And, and you, can, you, you can use that hand. You can lift up that hand for a minute and just touch a card. That one there, are you sure? Yeah. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show the camera. Can you remember that card? Yep. You got it? Yeah. You got it? Cool. Now, it's up to you. I can leave it in the middle or I can shuffle again. It's your choice. Shuffle again. Shuffle again. Okay. How many times do you want me to shuffle? Three. Three times. So that's once. That twice, and that three times. You happy with that? Sure. So, those two cards, yep. they're going to vanish, and they're going to find your card. Watch. They're going to vanish? Like that. Did you see it? Did you, did you feel it when they were in your hand? No. No, check it out. Look, they've gone. What the hell? And you were holding on to that, right? Yeah. But it's not about the fact that the... Uh, <laughs> No, it's go. not about that. It's about where they go. Because you see, they go down into the middle of the deck. Check it out. And they've caught one card. One, no one card and one card only. What was the name of your card, Matt? Seven of Spades. What do you mean that one? Now, there's a rule in magic. I can tell you freaked out by that. But there's a rule in magic. Never repeat a trick. I'm going to do it again for you, okay? Now, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to cut that, uh, that seven into the deck. Give it a bit of a mix-up so that nobody knows where it is. And I'm going to do the same trick again. But this time, I'm going to do it in slow motion. Now, you should never repeat a trick. Because the first time it's entertainment, the second time it's educational. But I'm going to do it again. I've told you what's going to happen. These two cards with the crosses on, they're going to find your card, which is somewhere in the middle of the deck and no one knows where. So watch. I'll do it in slow motion. One is on top. One is on the bottom. And I want you to see that. You can see that one's on top and one's on the bottom, right? Yeah. Look, I'm going to push them in like this. Just like that. One on the top, one on the bottom, right? Now watch, if I just rub, all I have to do is rub, and as I do, the one off the top and the one off the bottom vanish. But here's what's really weird. Look, the first one goes down about five or six cards. The second one goes up about five or six cards. What they're trying to do is hone in on the card that you picked. Now you push those two cards in yourself, Matt. You can see where they are. One's a few cards down, one's a few cards up, right? Yeah. If I just do this. And now the next one's gone even further down. This one's gone even further up. They're really homing in on your card. You can see that there's only a few cards now. Push them in again. This is nuts. Push them in again. Fair? Watch, last time. All I do is I snap and right there, there they are. They've caught one card and one card only. What was your card again, Matt? Seven of spades. What do you mean, this one? <laughs> kind of weird, right? I don't understand it either. That's messed up. No clue. No clue. Anyway. How the... F that's not... <laughs> I know, right? Do you know how he does that? Let it go. He teaches me. <laughs> So again, guys, that's another Magic Live in the bag. Do me a favor, let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.